Boltworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boltworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. What is going on, everybody? I hope you're doing well. My name is Andy with Boltworks Today, and in this video, we're going to get all the glass laid up on this floor deck to see what kind of a difference it actually makes for stiffening this up. So, let's see what happens. So now with the glass rolled up and out of the way, before I can actually start laying any material down, I need to do, well, basically a two-step cleaning process. And the first step is going to be going through with some basically just warm water in a scotch brine pad to remove any of the excess, you know, leftover PVA that was on from when I did the repairs earlier. Now, once the PVA is off and everything has dried, then I need to come back and I need to wipe the entire deck down with, well, essentially some kind of a solvent to remove any grease, grime, dirt, you know, that kind of thing. I could use acetone, but acetone flashes off so fast, so I'm using the Interlux 202 fiberglass cleaner just because it gives you a longer working time before it evaporates. And since I'm anticipating having to mix up a total of, well, a little over two gallons of resin, you know, total, uh, rather than making trips up and down the boat trying to do all this, I'm going to set up a little area here to do all the mixing. So it's just a piece of plywood wrapped in plastic, and boom, instant mixing station. So for this layup, I'm going to be using Total Boat Laminating Polyester Resin. And just to give myself a little bit extra working time, I'm going to be catalyzing this at a little over 1%. Just to give you some numbers, I'm going to be mixing up one quart or 32 ounce batches at a time. And for that amount of, of resin, I'm going to be mixing in a little over 12 cc's of mech. Now, when you're mixing up larger batches of resin like this, it can be a little tricky to make sure that all of the hardener is fully you know, mixed into the resin. So what I like to do is a two cup method. So in the first cup, I throw in the hardener, mix it up, give it a good initial stir, and then I'll pour it into a second cup and stir it again for another minute. And then you should be good to go. Now, in the past, you've always seen me use a fin roller for removing trapped air and excess resin. So here I thought I'd try and show you something new. Now, because of the material that we are using here, which is 1708, we have the option of using essentially a plastic squeegee or a spreader knife. And in my opinion, to be honest, at least with this type of material, it actually, I think it works better than, uh, than a fin roller. You're able to gather any of the excess resin that the glass no longer can hold on to, which means it doesn't need it, and you can pull it into kind of a central area, come back over with a fairly dry roller, it mops it up, and you're, you're all set and ready to go. No more trapped air, no excess resin, leaving you with a good lean laminate.
So here's a good example of what I was talking about earlier about using the squeegee to remove the excess resin and the trapped air. Now, it, this works out really, really slick for this type of material like I would mentioned. Now, rather than using a roller to pick up the excess resin, I'm just going to mop it up with an old brush. With all the glass down, now I think I'm going to clean up, check out for the night, and then I'll come in in the morning and top coat this so everything can fully cure. And for doing that, I'm going to be using gel coat. Except here I kind of goofed a little bit. I ordered laminating gel coat. Now if I were thinking, I should have gotten the, the, the gel coat that already had the wax mixed into it, but at the end, that's right, it'll still work. I'll just have to do an extra step of going over top of this with some PVA. Good morning. It has been two days since I laid up this glass. So I've had a chance to cure for about 48 hours and I have yet to actually go up there and, and give it a, a bounce test, but I'm, I'm dying to do so. Now, before I do that, I just kind of want to re I just want to emphasize, I guess, a couple of things. Uh, I guess the first one being, you know, just in case this doesn't work, uh, am I anticipating this to fix it 100%? Uh, you know, I don't know. I think there's a good chance. Uh, but as far as it, you know, fixing it 100%, eh, hopeful. I'm not going to say I'm overly confident. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet the farm on it, put it that way. But I do think that it's going to make a, a, a pretty significant difference. Now, I, I guess kind of my fallback excuse, if you want to call it that, is if it doesn't fix it 100%, you know, it, it doesn't change the fact that what I did up there, it still needed to be done to kind of stabilize the surface and prevent any future issues from popping up. So. With that said, let's go give this a shot. All right, now something to keep in mind here is I weigh a buck 80 in my birthday suit. And when I'm jumping on here, I'm doing it pretty hard. If something's gonna break, I want it to break in here instead of out on the water. All right, now I'm not going to say that this repair is a 10 out of 10, but I will, I'll, I will give it a solid 9, maybe even 9.5. I mean, it, <laughs> well, who the hell am I kidding? I mean, I'm just as surprised as you are. I mean, I knew it was going to make a difference. I didn't think it was going to make that big of a difference. All right, so the best I can tell is the, the original construction on this deck is, I don't know if it's hand-laid chop strand or if it's, you know, blown in with a chop gun. But the deck itself is about, it's less than a quarter inch of, uh, of chop strand matting, which just doesn't have a whole lot of strength. Now, just coming in and adding on, you know, two layers of, of biaxial. That, I mean, I know that stuff is really, really, it's a stiff, very stiff laminate. And uh, just adding those two layers on top made a huge difference. You know, I, like I said, I, I'm a little bit surprised, but, uh, you know, the, the proof is in the pudding here, I guess, so to speak. And on that note, I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and call this the end of the week. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. If, if you were as surprised as I was, uh, 
really, really hit that like button uh, and, and just let me know. I, you know, maybe I'm just, you know, being a little bit overexcited about this, but I think this is a pretty big deal. So anyways, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave those down below. And uh, in, so then next week then, I'm going to be able to start uh, getting this sanded down and start working on the fairings. So that'd be kind of cool because I'm looking forward to trying out the, uh, those new flexi sanders and the, uh, the fairing board. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, until, uh, until next time, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching and have a great week. This has been a Bootworks Today Protection.